Hi all, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another crafting tutorial. And in this one today, I am building another battle mat that can be rolled up, but this time it will be for the Ashways of Necromunda, or for regular 40k games or any other post-apocalyptic games. So without further ado, I'm gonna take you to the crafting table and let's do this! Come on! Okay everyone, let's begin this project and I'm using four tubes, but you can use more, acrylic sealant, a call gun, an old bucket and a cloth painter's canvas with a plastic backing and a cup of coffee or tea for all of you desire tea. Now 2mm thick EVA foam, drywall mesh tape, some rulers and a box cutter, a cup, of, uh, a cup to measure the play sand, play sand obviously, and coffee lids if you have them. Those are all the things I'm going to use. Now I'm going to begin with a rough idea sketch and the 2mm or thinner if you have it, but 2mm works just fine. EVA foam. Now with the EVA foam, I'm going to start by cutting 4 to 6 floor tiles that have 5cm by 5cm squares. And it's up to you how big you want your floor to be. So mine is about 25cm wide. But it's up to you guys. Now stick down the drywall mesh tape in the center of all the squares, as you can see me do here. And cut down the bottom, which cuts very easily. Cool. Now we're going to cut out uh, the floor, then proceed to slightly score the squares and draw a line with a sharpie. Now this will make the floor very flexible, which is important if you want to roll up your mat. And here you can see me scoring them. Don't cut through it, just score it, all right? And this will make sure the foam, as I said, will bend when rolling up the mat. Now do this for all the number of floor tiles that you need or want. Now I'm gonna open the drop cloth canvas. Mine will be the size of a 40K Strikeforce board, which will be 153 centimeters by 112. Now clamp down the edges to pull it tight. And this was quite a struggle to get it this way. I now take my floor tiles and I'm gonna quickly lay them out to see and have a look how I want my roads to run and stuff like that. So as I mentioned, mine is unfortunately a little shorter, so it is one meter by 153 centimeters. And I'm gonna tape off the edge at the 153 centimeter end. So my, as I said, one meter by 153. Now I draw the road with a sharpie and mark my floor tiles in the direction that I need the, gl the glue to be. This is important also when you roll up the mat. So hot glue, uh, stick it all down with hot glue, like so. Hot glue is very flexible, so it shouldn't affect you if you roll up the mat. I also stick down these coffee lids and it's time to create the texture to cover the mat. So my sand, my caulking, water, caulk gun. And first thing I'm gonna do is mix the four or more tubes, if you have any, acrylic sealant in a bucket. Now, once you've done that, I add about half a cup of water and a good amount of brown paint and then begin by adding a, a half a cup of sand and stir up this mixture. Then add more sand, more water and keep on adding this but go slow until you are happy with the result uh, of the mixture so that it's coarse enough if you want it. I believe I end up using uh, three cups of sand and uh, one and a half cups of water. Now start by spreading this all over your mat, overlapping parts of the floor to represent well, sand and dust that have gathered over the years. Like so. For now I'm leaving the roads open, but I am going to cover them now. And uh, once the roads are covered as well, I'm going to start by dragging my fingers through it to represent the vehicle tracks that ran down these roads. Like so. Put some gloves on when you do this, because otherwise it's very messy. When that is done and you're happy with the vehicle tracks, start by smoothing out and uh, adding in some, uh, stippling in some, yeah, uh, footprints and stuff. Now, you don't have to smooth it out completely. Well, it's basically up to you. I like it a little bit rough, so, but you can smooth it out however you want. Just make sure that the roads, the tracks run very cool and very deep. 
Now, as I said, you can make the, the mat really smooth if you want, but I prefer this raggedy look for my Necromunda in 40k wasteland, so I am very happy with this result. But again, smooth it out to however satisfies your look of the mat. Now, while the sealant is still wet, I stick in some corrugated paper sheets for metal paneling and make sure the corrugation runs in the direction that you roll up your mat. That is pretty important. <laughs> Otherwise, it will come loose a little bit. And this way, it, you're safe. They won't fall off. All right, now with black, white and brown, I create a dark tone rock art flesh or a tan. <laughs> and start by painting the entire mat, except for the parts of the floor that are left exposed. Basically the parts that you want iron, just leave them exposed. And the rest, cover it all with a couple of good layers of tan paint, like so. And now I paint the floor and the metallic parts in black. Nice. And let that dry. Now once it's dry, bring this mat outside and let's make it come to life and don't forget to like and subscribe everybody i would really appreciate that now spray paints brown bone light bone and gray and black in order so i'm going to begin with brown on the roads and on the edges of the floor and anywhere you want the darker definition so the edges of the floor especially and the roads the depth also here and there on the mat of the sand parts i also spray a little bit of brown also add some nice color variation as well. Now a bone color for the majority of the sand parts and I also dust spray the roads slightly with this. But especially cover most of the sand parts. And as you can see me do here. Now I highlight dust spray, a lighter bone color even all over the sand parts and very slight dusting on the road next I spray on some more patches of brown followed by a light gray primer on the sand and some layers of a clear matte varnish and then I also spray black on the metallic parts next I create a very thin brown wash and I cover the entire mat with this but make sure it's a very thin wash now I soak up a lot of the wash and leave some patches tinting the mat like so and uh, look at this I am quite happy with how this has turned out so far I also uh, added some pastels of rust on the metallic parts but now we're gonna paint all this with lead belcher or whatever silver color you have or prefer. I'm using lead belcher and it will take a couple of coats to really cover it. Doesn't matter if some of the black shines through. Next I paint uh, a brown paint for grimy rust and I paint on some hazard stripes, stipple on the red paint on the corrugated panels, but you can use whatever color or details that you prefer of course. I like the contrast of the brown, it matches well with the color of the mat and it gives that metal, still that uh, necromunda rust effect. You can add in more orange if you want to, so yeah. You can see the hazard stripes, the red uh, panels. And I am really happy how this has turned out, guys. Now let's set some terrain on this mat and we'll have a better look. Now all this terrain can be found in my Necromunda playlist. Just to let you know, so once this video is finished, go have a look if you, there is something there that you find interesting. So look at this. The ash wastes, or 40k, as I said, you can use it for whatever you want, of course. But I'm really happy how this mat turned out. It really matches the setting, the post apocalyptic. You can see the miniatures standing on top of it, and yeah, it's awesome. Really happy how this project worked. Looking forward to playing a lot of games on this as well. <laughs> Very cool. Also, regular 40k games, I will play regular 40k on this as well. Well, mostly one-page rules if it is for battle reports. So yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, process as well. As I said, it is very easy to do and anyone can do this. Trust me, anyone. If I can do this very easily, it was my first as well. 
you can do it too. Anyone can do this. Don't be intimidated by the work. It's very easy to do. All right. So thank you all for watching, everybody. And I really appreciate all of you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, there are more videos to come. So, yeah, I will be doing some more scattered terrain for the ash wastes. And I think this year I will be focusing a lot more on Necromunda as well, terrain-wise. Uh, more battle reports coming too, so stick around and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye for now, everybody. Bye!